It's very important that when people view the content in whatever form, they know it's from Olympus. It's to do with reliability and trust. In, in the eternal sea that is the web, we have to know that the channel, or the, if you like, the, the legitimate, the genuine, is separable from the, you know, some loony in a garret somewhere. <laughs> and that means we have to approach this in a particular way. Now, um, it could be something as simple as, you, if you see an Apple ad on television, you automatically know it's an Apple ad, don't you? Yeah. Because of what? because of the way it's shot. I mean, to, to get down to the prosaic for a minute, is we don't have to have Olympus across everybody's T-shirt. But if you think about it in a different way, that the contents feel, form, uh, needs to be of an extremely high order. So it would be a desperately bad mistake for the information to leak out, rather like those pirate DVDs that you see, where you can see someone walk across the screen. <laughs> So the authentic stream or the authentic data um, needs to be obviously of Olympus. So I'm not going to say branded because then it might take people off and say, hey, I'll have my sponsors along the bottom. You know, it's not that. It has to, the purity of the information also means that it lacks any commercial guile. And that's the second thing. To slap sponsor stickers and God knows what over, over this information will be completely wrong because it would entirely, completely unhorse the idea of for every man. Right. It loses the, the most important component from Singapore government's point of view, I would suggest, is that Singapore has set about doing this partially as a gift to the rest of the world, uh, and that it does it through a sense of a higher sense of understanding of what we need to go in the future. So that does not allow for, if you like, the, the contamination of commercial components into a certainly visible